The Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free is a tiny flush-mounted motion sensor which integrates easily and quickly with Control 4 systems. In this video, we will detail how the Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free is connected and programmed. First, let's look at how we connect the Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free to a Control 4 system. The Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free can be connected to Control 4 devices with dry contact terminals, such as the EA5 controller, EA3 controller, Zigbee I.O., 4-channel bus dry contact module and the I.O. extender. When using an EA5, EA3 or I.O. extender, firstly, provide the motion sensor with 12 volts DC from the plus 12 volt and GND terminals. Use the plus 12 volt terminal and the SIG terminal across the volt-free output of the motion sensor. The Control 4 4-channel bus dry contact module has four dry contact inputs, so up to four motion sensor 360 volt free can be connected to each DCIM4. Power the motion sensor from the plus 12 volt and ground fly leads. Remember to activate the 12 volt output in Composer if using these terminals to power the sensor. We then connect the volt-free output of the motion sensor to the COM and WAN fly leads. The Control 4 Zigbee I.O. is a wireless module allowing the connection of up to four motion sensor 360 volt free. First power the Zigbee I.O. device with an external power supply. Connect the PWR terminal to the plus terminal of the motion sensor and the CM terminal to the minus terminal. Please note the USB power cable supplied with the Zigbee I.O. can't be used and an external power supply must be used to power both the sensor and the Zigbee I.O. module. Connect each side of the motion sensor volt-free output to the C1 and CM terminals. Once the motion sensor 360 volt-free is connected to the Control 4 system, we can look at the programming in Composer. As the motion sensor 360 volt free provides a one second pulse when motion is sensed, our programming needs to include suitable timeouts. In this video, we will use the example of controlling our bathroom lights automatically using the motion sensor. The lights will turn on with motion and turn off when the room has been vacant for a set period of time. Start by connecting to director connect your controllers and add the various modules that you have connected to the system. Depending on which device the sensor is connected to, you will need to add the correct devices. In this example, we have connected the motion sensor to an EA5 contact and we are going to program it to turn on and off a keypad dimmer light in the bathroom. This bathroom light is required to switch on as soon as motion is sensed and turn off after five minutes of no motion being sensed in the room. In Composer, start by creating a motion sensor driver in the system design view. Grab the generic Control 4 motion sensor driver and add it to the bathroom. As our motion sensor 360 volt free provides a normally open output, we need to invert the input on the motion sensor driver. Now we are going to make sure the connections are set correctly. Start by navigating to the Connections view, select the Motion Sensor. In the above, Control and Audio Video Connections pane, select the Contact Sensor. Next, make the connection between the Motion Sensor driver and the relevant contact, in this case, Contact 1 of the EA5. We can now create a timer agent for the bathroom. Select the Agents view and add a timer agent. Create a new timer with a suitable name. We will call ours Bathroom Motion Sensor. We now set the timeout we want before lights are automatically switched off. We set this to five minutes. In the Programming tab, select the Motion Sensor driver under the bathroom. First, we set the actions that happen when Motion Sensor senses motion. Firstly, we want the lights to turn on. And secondly, we add stop timer to prevent the timer expiring while there is motion in the room. 
Next, we want to program what happens when motion sensor stops sensing motion. Firstly, we add the reset timer action and then the start timer action. Finally, we program the when timer expires event. Select the timer and select when timer expires. Find the bathroom lights, select off and then add this to the script. And there we have a working example of motion controlled lighting in Control 4 with the Faraday Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free. For more information, contact Faraday today. Faraday Smart Home Accessories.